following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Television, radio, internet, the world. I cannot sit next to you looking like a, what, what do you call it, fruity pebble? Are, are we eating out today or what? I swear to God. Take it off. Are you jealous? No, because you look redonk. Re I'm the king of wrestling if radio. You don't take it off, I'm going to punch you right in the face. And now, celebrating 13 years on the air, this is the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time with David Hero, Frank Cosentino, Linda Kay. The man they call Meathead, and Damian Nelson. All the latest from World Wrestling Entertainment, Total Nonstop Action Wrestling, and more. This is the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling back. Report Prime Time. You know, I, you hit me. It was a love tap. No, no, no. You assaulted me. It was a love tap. You batterized me. I asked you nicely. Hey, and you got up and you threatened me. Well, You're 5'5". You know, five five. I am. A, on a good day, I'm 5'5". Five five. Damian Nelson, host of the year, here alongside David Del Rio. Ha ha, but he ought to do that. For the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time. And David, there is but one topic to start off with. And that, of course, is this past Monday's WWE Raw, the announcement of the guest host... For WWE WrestleMania 27, he is back, and he electrified Anaheim, California, and millions around the world. The Rock is the guest host for WrestleMania 27, and dare I say this, wrestling is back. I'm a little upset about the whole thing, because originally... You're going to be that fan? I was supposed to be the guest host. Well, you, your demands were too high. Honest to God... Wrestling, for at least this past week, has been good. The Rock is back. He's proven again what wrestling has been missing, what wrestling needs. A guy with charisma, a guy who can talk. Completely unscripted 20-minute promo. 23. Stole the show. Absolutely. Everyone is still talking about it today. You and can't beat that kind of we're stuff. We're going to have a lot of those comments uh, from our Facebook and some emails and even YouTube uh, with Frank in the social media center in just a few minutes. Absolutely. Wait, but wait, wait. Just Frank? Linda is, uh, she's got a gig at Coyote Ugly tonight. I ain't making this up. She's dancing on the, on the bars? Well, that's where we're going after the oh. taping here. Yes. Absolutely. You got your singles? Dollar bills. Linda is more than a single. She's at least a five. The Dollar questions are many, and as you talk about the reaction, so much reaction. We talked about it on this past Monday's ESPN radio show, but David, the numbers are in. WWE Raw this past Monday night, we talked about what this might mean for the ratings, what this might do, and I speculated on Monday that it would do nothing because who knew about it, but here's what it done did. Raw scores a 3.14 rating, down from the prior week. 4.8 million people approximately tuned in for the second hour of WWE Raw. For the 20 minute overrun, The Rock delivered 1 million additional viewers. Went from 4.8 million to 5.7 million viewers on average for that I 20 minute program. The happened? Rock equaled nobody else 
The Rock no, equaled one not. million more people tuning into WWE, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, what happens is here comes The Rock. People are on their phones. They're tweeting. They're texting. They're Facebooking. Oh, Twitter my God, The Rock is back. And he is. I mean, I talk to people that have not been wrestling fans for the past five, six, seven years since Rock left. You know what they've told me? I'm now going to watch it again. The Rock is back. Women will watch The Rock. Men want to be The Rock. It's great. It's so that point, I'm, I'm looking at our Twitter feed here, and we, we got a tweet uh, just a little while ago from a person named Head of Parks underscore Rec saying, to the point that you just made, The Rock's return got 15 of my high school, of my friends from high school and work to watch wrestling again. Exactly. See, what people don't realize about how powerful The Rock is, okay, how many people wore Rock t-shirts? How many of the guys wore Rock t-shirts? Just about. Well, a lot. It was cool. Yeah. How many of the guys wore the silky smooth Hawaiian fancy shirts Rock would have? That's an excellent point. Okay. A lot, yeah. You don't see guys wearing the orange and yellow and green and blue indigo violet John Cena t-shirts around town. But you do see a disturbing amount wearing the purple John but, Cena shirts. But those aren't real men, okay? They're like confused. Not that way, but they're just like, they're not cool because when you wore the rock stuff, that was cool. You can go to the mall wearing that. You, you can't. You're not going to go to the mall wearing a John Cena exa shirt. Exactly. If you're over the age of eight. Well, you could go to the club wearing a rock t-shirt or the rock silky smooth shirt and you might get a little play. You might get some action. The John Cena stuff isn't going to work. Let's and break it stop, down. Stop, stop. Women like John Cena. Mm -hmm. They think he's cute. I can Wh relate. Women want to bang the rock. Okay? When you say bang, you mean? Firework. Whatever you want. Whatever to my throne. That got tossed also. So you go from... And don't get me wrong, John Cena is a star in the wrestling business. He's not a crossover star. People Magazine, Extra, all covering, Entertainment Weekly, covering The Rock is back. John Cena doesn't get that kind of play. Randy Orton doesn't get that kind of play. Jeff Hardy, the list of stars don't get that kind of play. The Rock, even Stone Cold Steve Austin, as amazing as he is, mm -hmm. would not get that kind of play. Let's break it down. You talk about The Rock's star power and what he brought and what he will bring mm -hmm. to the table. The impact on the business, I think, is pretty substantial. And there are several business indicators that it, it would take too long for us to tell you. But one of them is general buzz, general discussion, general traffic for some of the support businesses of wrestling, of which we are one. Mm -hmm. And uh, we celebrated uh, one of our biggest days this year. Valentine's Day. On Monday, on the website. Uh, and, you know, hundreds of new people joining us on Twitter. That stuff happens when something big happens in wrestling. And it happened on Monday with The Rock returning, with The Rock returning, but is this an evolution, or an elevation rather, of the overall brand that is WWE? What I mean by that is we talked about the star power of The Rock. With The Rock being there, with The Rock being your center of WWE, at least for the next five weeks going into WrestleMania. What does it mean for the islands around The Rock? What does it mean for the other stars in WWE? What does it mean for The Miz? What does it mean for John Cena? What does it mean for Dolph Ziggler? What does it mean for Alberto Del Rio? What does it mean for Jack Swagger? What does it mean for Edge? What does it mean for everybody it else It means working a with ton. Him? It means if business goes up or if it stays the same. Because right now you got this huge spotlight of people coming back to watch Raw. Mm -hmm. They'll probably tune in to watch SmackDown, hoping there'll be a Rock sighting. And then, now that these fans are back, now there's a, now the John Cena's, the Del Rio's, um, the Randy Orton's, the Edge's, the, you know, the Wade Barrett's, now these fans have a chance to reconnect, to connect with them. Because now they're getting some old new fans back that might be interested in the new product. People talk about the Attitude Era of which you can certainly say The Rock was part of. The one thing I think a lot of people miss about the Attitude Era, I, the one thing a lot of people miss about Nitro's dominance over Raw for so long, the one thing people miss about the Austin years, the Hogan years, it wasn't just them. 
No. You well, were, as a, you just said, you were interested in a lot of these supporting stories that were going on at the time, but you were drawn, the asses were put in the seat by those people we just talked about, and overall, you got a good show. Is The Rock's return to WWE, is it the... Is it the, the, the spark that the fans have been waiting for? Is it that candle being lit in the business that the fans can relate to, can accept, can go along with for the next few months? Absolutely. How many catchphrases did The Rock use on his promo when he came back? He used all of them. He didn't all use Blue Hell. That's about the only one he didn't um, use. Are you sure? I don't recall hearing Blue Hell. I'm being corrected right now if he did. I'm sure you are. But think about it. He had, what, at least six of them? Mm -hmm. There aren't six catchphrases on the entire both brands right now. I was going to try to use It Doesn't Matter on Kaz earlier today. Yeah. But he's too smart. Mm -hmm. Right? There's nothing anybody is chanting. The only person, no, and this may be the controversial. Only, the only thing you get is what? What? Right. And the only person who is on the rock level for fan reaction right now if you say the three-letter word, so help me God. The only person who's on the rock level as far as fan reaction right now to the opposite is... Three-letter word? No. Vicky Guerrero. No, she's not. She's, she's the only one that generates more audience reaction but, but, okay, right now. But that is just heat. That's not... Okay, it's audience but, reaction. Right, right. But what I'm saying is people aren't repeating what she says. Correct. That's not necessarily the point I'm making. The point I'm making is, who is soliciting or inciting more reaction from the crowd oh, than The Rock is right now? Vicky. Vicky is absolutely. And John Cena is a close second, by the way. Yeah. But and there is three nothing. three-letter word gets his awesome chant. Not even a chant, but they just go along with it. When you say three-letter word, do you want to explain to everyone who that is? It's the three-letter word. And who is currently the? WWE champion. Which, Which is the belt that matters most, the world especially champion. if you watch back down this Friday. Uh, no. I, I didn't see Aaron Rodgers holding that belt when he won the Super Bowl, did he? Oh, you missed Letterman? I don't watch Letterman. Is he on TBS? Conan. Ah, gotcha. Coco? That's Ice-T's wife, isn't it? No, beware. Frankie? Oh, Bird? And we're going to see out. him on Sunday. Bradley Center, Coco, Milwaukee, beware. Wisconsin. Body slams on ice. The point that's being made is, as you said, they're not chanting for anybody in TNA. No, you you get, don't even get woo anymore. You get the asshole DNA. chant. You get that. I'll give you that. John Cena, you can't see me if I knuckle shuffle, but they're not bought into any just of that. did it right there. But they're not bought into any of that. Awesome, awful. I think that that's got a little bit of play. But that is what's missing. Because. CM sucks. Yeah. But nothing compares to. Because that's the bottom line. This. Rudy Poo turning sideways. Uh, yeah, Rock owned. No one, nobody, and you know, maybe the reason nobody has that is because they're not allowed to develop that stuff anymore. We talk about the elevation of the brand overall WWE. We should talk about what The Rock did say during that 20 minutes of overrun on Monday night. Swore at least five, six times, dropping A bombs. A bombs. Uh, some of the he took, he took everything that we've been waiting for and gave it to everybody. He did. He didn't miss anything. Not at all. Night. Not at all. And genuinely happy to be there. He God, went. He great. He's jacked. He spoke as Dwayne and addressed, I'm not here for the money. I'm not here to promote a movie. He said he's home. And he said, which is substantial, I think, he is never, ever going away. Now, that is what spurred controversy, if anything, from The Rock's return, because you've got a couple of those fans now popping up. Oh, he's just back to promote a movie. Oh, he's just back for the money. Oh, he's going to leave again like he did in 2002. Who cares? Enjoy it. Exactly. Exactly. Enjoy it. And who gives Cash, a rat's listen, ass about all listen, that? Right Cashmark, here's the thing. There it is. Fellas, maybe you guys can relate with me. You're not going to kick Halle Berry out of bed because she's going to leave in the morning, are you? No. You're not. I didn't. You're not. Enjoy it. 
you know, take it all in. Be a part of it. We've said this so many times, though. It's never going to stick. But there are far fewer naysayers on The Rock's return than anything else that has happened in the last few months in wrestling. The Rock coming back is bigger than when Hogan went to TNA. Because more people saw it, first of all. Bigger than Bret Hart coming back last year and hugging Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. Because the fans loved The Rock. Like I said, the guys wanted to be him, and the girls wanted to be with him. What does this mean for TNA wrestling? Oh. And I think it was sort of proven on Monday night. As fans, as we are, talking on the radio, on ESPN Radio Monday night, TNA had a pay-per-view on Sunday. They had a good pay-per-view on Sunday. We didn't even talk about it. Nobody's talking about it. No. Nobody's... There's no buzz generated from that. With this one move, and I think Frank has a YouTube comment in the social media center that may just sum it all up, but with this one move, WWE created more ignorance for TNA and took WrestleMania to at least the level of prior WrestleManias, if not higher, because of... There's more to come, by the way. I don't think WWE's done. I don't think Vince McMahon's done with the planning for WrestleMania. See... With the Royal Rumble. Who won that? When, yeah, my main mandible, Armando. Alberto. Listen, when Royal Rumble came around and Nash or Diesel and Booker T showed up, <coughs> they just kicked sand in the face of TNA. When The Rock came out, they kicked them straight in the bollocks. In the what? The bullocks. The bollocks. Is that a kind of fish? It's a Pollock, but close. It's for my British people. It's British, you know. This is... It, but I don't, that was not, certainly not the goal. Vince McMahon didn't Absolute, do this to get at TNA. Why not? Really? Why wouldn't he? Really? He just went... <laughs> done. You're probably right. Who was good? Listen, we have friends in TNA, okay? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel a little bad for them right now. because There's nothing they can do. Uh, no. How do you fight back? Well, and that's been TNA's problem. You don't fight back. You just keep pushing on and hope you keep what you got at this point. Just saying. The Rock mentioning The Miz the WWE champion. The Rock mentioning John Cena. Now, let's talk about Three Cena. letter word. WWE champion? That's two. Hall of Fame, WrestleMania 25, I think, maybe, uh -huh. whenever The Rock was there. Remember the little go-between between him and John Cena? Yes. John Cena starting getting into movies, thinking he's going to do great at it, hasn't. He starts yeah. making some chops at The Rock. The Rock making some chops back. The Rock bringing that back up in the ring on Monday night. Some are saying we could be seeing Cena and Miz at WrestleMania, and if we do, what the Rock could be the special guest referee. What involvement will The Rock have? Special guest ref. Really? A guest host and guest ref? Why not? One, two, it doesn't matter if The Rock counts at three? It could be. You know, And that, of course, means The Miz retains. Maybe The Rock does some movies now for Vinnie Mac. Gives a little more star power. Why not? Why not? WWE Studios not doing so good. I mean, this chaperone thing, I'm sorry. Triple H, I respect. I think he has an amazing amount of wrestling talent. But there are few movie commercials that I see, and I literally cringe that movie because they're so horrible. It. There's no question about it. It, it. There's nothing. And remember, they put all the good parts in the commercials. Yeah, the movie's like, like what, 13 minutes? Horrible. Now, it's not fair to rate it before we've seen it. Oh. I will... Go ahead and project. Horrible. Horrible. I'm the chaperone. Really? Hope that's your fanny pack. Really? Yeah. Really? 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 Will he wrestle again? I don't see it. He doesn't have to. Why would he want to? Why would he not? Who? Who? Triple H, no, John Cena, Triple H is the done. WWE champion, Alberto Del Rio. Okay, he beats all those guys. Mm -hmm. How does that help anybody? 
being in a match with The Rock doesn't help them? If they don't win, no. Being in one of The Rock's few matches doesn't help them? Nah, it's not going to help. Here's why. Why, David? The Rock is Superman, okay? That's not a shield on his chest. I know, and then the rest are like the Star Wars Stormtroopers, you know? Those two have never squared off, so I'm not sure I can relate to that. I'm saying is you have Superman, the ultimate hero, and a bunch of jabronis running around in the same suits that always get killed, faceless. You have to find the Batman to fight Superman. John Cena could be that guy, but... No, I thought he was Superman. No. Stop. Super Cena. Stop. I just, it's difficult to follow what kick you're on you each know, week. You know, I'm telling you, keep this up. My contract's almost up here, you know. No, it isn't. You got three years left. I just saw it the other day. Maybe one day you will wear this. Doubtful, but... It wouldn't fit my head. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. You thought, but nobody knew. Rock creates a Twitter page. At The Rock. Rock goes on Facebook, posts, finally. Finally. Get ready. Well, come on. You knew when that was popping up. Why else would he do it? You knew, but you didn't know. Okay. WWE. I felt it. Made a huge deal out of this. Vince McMahon in Milwaukee last week making the announcement that we're going to, you know, they're going to be announcing the, the guest host of WrestleMania. And you sort of cringe at that because it's like, ooh, who's it going to be? Justin Bieber and Bob Barker were the front runners for most of the week. How brutal would that have been? It became more and more obvious as the show went on. The fact that they waited to the last minute to do it showed you it wasn't going to be Bob Barker or Justin Bieber. Agreed. You knew it was going to be The Rock, but you didn't know it was going to be The Rock. And what I mean by that is, is you, you still were, that anticipation was building. How perfect was WWE's execution of this announcement all the way up to the woman getting out in the limousine? When everybody knew it was going to be The Rock, or thought it was going to be The Rock, and this woman gets out, and you heard the groans in the audience. You saw the Twitter blow up. You think up. that was Vicky? No, they, they weren't. She doesn't wear red shoes. Were they red? They were red. I thought they were black. Some said they were, it was Sarah Palin. But, is that an unanswered question? What did the GM have to say to The Rock when he chimed in? And who was that woman? They probably well, won't go anywhere with those things. It almost like a Bill Clinton question. He did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. How well did WWE handle the announcement and the presentation overall? It, it was top Everything notch. up until it The was, Rock's music started. It was perfect. Crowd popped. Imagine being there, not knowing, and also out comes The Rock. I said this on Twitter. I'm not sure in the last eight years or so I've heard any fan reaction more substantial than that that we heard on Monday night. See, it only could have worked in Anaheim, because that's where he lives right now. Mm -hmm. so, there's, him. so there's no video cameras at the airport waiting for him to come off of the, you know, mm -hmm. into the baggage claim. They learned their lesson. <clears throat> well, knowing Vinnie Mac, this was planned months ago. Including on February 1st, when The Rock said he would be coming back to WWE at some point, but not in a non-wrestling non role. Mm -hmm. How about Sting? No one even talks about that anymore. We're going to get to that in a minute. Because there's a lot that actually happened on Raw before 9.55 when the Rock sequence started. And there's a lot to talk about Speaking in that regard. Speaking of sequence, thank God that robe is off of you. Oh, you'll be seeing it again. I am the... Let me explain. I'm not sure if our television viewers are aware. Go ahead. I would like to thank everyone out there and the Wrestling Radio Awards for honoring me with the title of Wrestling Radio Host of the Year, thus making me the king of wrestling radio. H-O-T-Y. Hashmark. Hottie. Right here. Wait till Scotty comes in town. He'll, he'll have a, a few words to say about that. I've been training. I can tell. Looks like it. Let's go to the social media center with the cause. Good evening, folks. Welcome to the Social Media Center. I'm the Cause. Unfortunately, Linda couldn't be with us this evening, but I'll try my best to make this worth 
your wild. What a week of wrestling it has been. Finally, The Rock is back in the WWE. It was a magical evening. And hopefully, you had an opportunity to take part in that and to TiVo it, tape it, whatever, save it. It is history. And you have a lot to say of it. Matter of fact, just heard it. Let's head over to the PWR General Manager. And I quote, this is an email from Lester in the UK to answer Damien's question about did the locker room become better because The Rock was there? Yes, it did. Everyone he came in contact with became that much better just on his promos alone, such as Chris Jericho, Kurt Angle, Hurricane Helms, Goldberg, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and a ton of others. But on another note, it was a great comeback because I marked out. I was like a 10 year old again. Finally, The Rock has come back. That's a theme that everyone has had this week. Finally, The Rock. Thank you, Lester, in the UK for that email. Let's head over to Facebook, where Facebook blew up completely the moment that Rock went off the air and then we were on the air. Let's get some of these posts from Facebook. This one's from Dan Gurton. Holy cow, what a pop! Finally, from Lee Marlowe, two words, marked out. From Chris Barclay, finally The Rock has come back to WWE television. From John Machado, or Machado, the good old day, dude, is a trip. This one's from Sean Young, finally The Rock has come to kick the snot out of that wannabe John Cena. It was an amazing thing to see as, as these posts just blew up. That promo that Rock gave, 20 minutes long about, and then to talk about John Cena, really adds a possible storyline as we head into WrestleMania. Let's head over to YouTube. And this outstanding post, it's one of the highest rated posts right now on our YouTube page. This is from Funkier Snoog. Love the name, by the way. In one promo, Rock told WWE exactly what the fans don't want. No more paint-by-numbers wrestling, no more transitional champs like The Miz, no more Cena, no more Cole being the biggest heel, and no more WWE telling us what we want. No one in WWE can talk for 20 minutes and not be boring as hell. Most of them can't wrestle for 20 minutes without being boring. Boring. The Rock tore WWE apart in one promo just shows you how bad WWE has truly gotten. One promo, my fans, one damn promo. It was an amazing evening, and it can only get better as they head into WWE. We want your thoughts on Facebook, on Twitter. Head over to pwrshow.com. We will read your emails, your tweets, your Facebook posts, everything. Head over to the market. Get the newest t-shirts, the uh, DHS shirts, the Tremendous shirts, the Thanks Pal shirts. It's all there. We'll have WrestleMania covered, and we'll talk about WrestleMania and others in the next social media center. Let's head over to Damien and Dave, gentlemen. Well, we just left the social media center, meaning that you shouldn't be on your phone I'm anymore. I'm socially Unless you want to take something right new in there for Frank to read. I'm cracking down the I'm going to talk to Frank after the show during that. I mean, while well, he was in the social media center, I have to catch a couple of his comments. From most of the my year, interest. I'm trying to get us our VIP County Ugly Passes. I already got that worked out. No, you don't have anything worked out. Well, when the hottie walks in, where would you like to sit, Mr. Nelson? One bottle of Jameson? Will there be anything else? TNA had a pay per view this past Sunday against all odds. A brand new TNA World Heavyweight Champion was crowned, David. His name is Jeff Hardy. Yeah. I think it's important to explain the reasoning as to why TNA felt compelled to put the title back on, Andrew, uh, back on Hardy, who, by the way, on Wednesday had another court appearance that was extended another month to March 21st. Of course it would be. His yeah. lawyer was sick or something to that degree. Why would they, just about a month later, put the title belt back on Jeff Hardy, in your opinion? Well, Immortal needs some steam. I mean, 
with uh, Fortune leaving, they lost the X Division title, they, they lost the tag belts. So they might as well get the main title back. That's why. What does it mean for Ken Anderson? It means it's time to start all over again and start chasing. Is Jeff Hardy a champion? Absolutely he is. Why wouldn't he be? He's been champion all over the place. Is Jeff Hardy still a champion? Yeah. Yes. Jeff Hardy still draws money. If you, by the way, we'll have a special episode of Be the Booker previewing Elimination Chamber coming up on Saturday. If you were doing the booking for TNA Wrestling of the entire roster, would Jeff Hardy be the champion? I think so. Yeah. He's one of the few I'm guys. I'm surprised by that. He's one of the few guys on the rock. Well, in a perfect world, it's Kurt Angle. Everything should evolve around him right now. Mm -hmm. He's the best guy they have, but his, his, he's, in, he's doing a part-time schedule. But Jeff Hardy is the most recognizable character in TNA. More recognizable than Ric Flair. Well, you're talking wrestlers. Ric Flair Active wrestlers. Yeah, Ric Even Ric though Ric Flair is wrestling next week and I'm back. Right. Ric Flair, he's a great uh, side attraction right now. He's an add-on. Yeah. Jeff but Hardy would be your champion. The reason I ask that question, the reason I go there, not because of this whole legal thing, which is outside of wrestling, but I think has some bearing on whether or not he should be champion, but Jeff Hardy without the WWE machine behind him doesn't have the same star power that he did have. And no, I'm not blaming nobody Jeff. Nobody does. Exactly. Nobody does. Like I said, that machine creates huge stars, just not bigger than the machine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I mean, I like Jeff. I, I like Ken. Um, but for me, if I put Jeff Hardy in the poster, people are going to recognize him right away. They'll recognize Ken, but not to the same extent. I don't think Rob Van Dam is that guy. I don't think right. he's the champion. Mm -hmm. Had TNA been able to go with their original plan for the return of the Main Event Mafia, which they claim was never the plan, would Jeff Hardy be champion right now? I don't think so. I think Ken would have helped. Would have, Ken got the legacy cut, cut off from underneath him. Because what they did is they wound up rushing the angle um, to turn immortal or to turn fortune. I think Kem would have gone into the next pay-per-view as the champion. Maybe they maybe would have dropped it there. But they, they had to do something quick. And unfortunately, you know, Kem was a casualty. Kem was doing great. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was doing, I mean, I saw some of the numbers they were doing as far as merchandise. And after the show, you get to go to the ring for the Polaroids. Mm -hmm. He had huge lines. He was doing great. People, people like Ken Anderson. But unfortunately, when Booker and Nash wound up in... Um, you know, the WWE, Rumble. Yeah. And listen, Nash had a signed contract with TNA. Yep. He did. He was going back. And then they, you know, they came to terms where he could be released. But they had no intention of reforming the main event. They're America. lying. I know for a fact that was their plan. It's the truth. Like, also How great would that have been, though? I mean, I know some people say, oh, the Mafia's old, blah, blah, blah. But to see Steiner, Angle, Booker... Nash in the ring again in their suits to battle Immortal and Fortune, I think that would have been entertaining, would have been fun. That's just my point of view. What do I know? Also on Against All Odds, we saw that uh, matchup between Brother Devon and Bully Ray. Mm -hmm. Well executed at the end with Bully Ray attacking Devon's children, nephews, Well, grown whatever. sons, yeah. Sons. Mm -hmm. Um, very well done, very well delivered by TNA Wrestling. But I question, should the focus be on those two guys? Is that the right place to no, uh, no, not at all. focus your efforts? I mean, this is all a great example of politicking. Okay? 
That's what it is. I mean, you know what? Good for Bubba. Good for Devon. They're getting they deliver. They're getting more pain. You know what? They did deliver. When that match was announced, I'm like, oh, not again. The end of the match was a great payoff. They did a great job. Kurt Angle versus Jeff Jarrett for the custody of the okay. Angle children. The only problem I have with this match is if I'm fighting for the custody of my son, it damn well better be a cage match where no one gets involved and I'm going to fight and kick and claw and scratch and try to kill that guy. Mm -hmm. Where's the sense of urgency in that match? There was none. And it was a mango mess. It was a good match. Don't get me wrong. I think there was too much going on, though. It was, it was, it, Karen was involved so much. And, you know, Jeff, Jeff Jarrett and got, what, two or three different strokes on Kurt Angle before finally he'd be able to pin him with, like, a, a, a roll-up. I'm not sure it the made the most... He blocked the sunset flag. Correct. I'm not sure it made the most sense in the world. And... Is this too close to home? For a lot of people it is. But that's how wrestling is. See, the problem is when, when people are watching wrestling, they want an escape. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you escape reality. Right. This is reality. This, and this is the problem with this angle. They're, people aren't escaping anything with this. It's too close to home. Kids shouldn't be involved. You know, use prop kids, if anything. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm Cody Angle, all right? And all of a sudden, Daddy Jeff is yelling at me. About well, me? Now I don't know when he's serious and when he's not. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. After the matchup, Kurt Angle leaves his boots sitting in the middle of the ring. Yeah. It's sold to us by Tanantaz. If I just lost my kids, I could give a rat's ass about leaving my boots in the ring. But what did it symbolize? His retiring? Leaving? Going away? He did that at Bound for Glory. Yeah. Well, so is Terry Funk and Ric Flair. I'm not sure the question was answered on uh, Impact tonight either. Or will be answered on Impact tonight. As we're doing this show special on Thursday so we can get it out there before be the booker, you know. Absolutely. But uh, the symbolization of those boots standing in the ring, it was a great image to end that whole thing with. And now, you know, they've got to have the whole turnover. And, and then the rock walks out on the I forgot about it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's true. I actually almost forgot about it. You see, it was an add-on here. Angle boots is added to the red oh. added blues. I see this. What happened in pre-tape here. A great match that happened, though. <laughs> Matt Hardy versus uh, Rob Van Dam. A match that was given a good amount of time. It was odds. a far better match than the first time. I thought both guys worked extremely hard. I was happy for Matt. He got the monkey off his back. I thought Rob did a good job. The evil monkey? Absolutely. The thanks pal monkey? The thanks pal monkey. Which you can get at pbrshow.com. Click on the little shop button. But yeah. Ah, 17% off, by the way. Really? All the way through March 17th. I love that. Same Free duffel thing. bag if you buy two sports items. Really? Yeah. Get the PWR track jacket and uh, PWR fleece. I like it. It's a free duffel bag. But um, yeah, I thought I thought it was match of the night. I thought I thought both guys worked really hard. It pains me to watch Matt though get up. Why? It just the looks like yeah, man. just it's like oh my, I, yeah, so the, he's the bionic man. TNA against all odds. A full review of the entire pay per view comes to you from the post show from PWR. Uh, which is available on our uh, website, pwrshow.com, on YouTube, and iTunes, and Android, and Blog Talk Radio, and everywhere else. Just waiting for the mic to drop. It's not going to. There's it's nobody up there. stuck. You'd think they would have got that fixed. This Sunday, after WWE's Elimination Chamber, we'll be live with you again on Blog Talk Radio for the post show. Really? Again? Mm-hmm. Did we just do this last week? We're on the road to WrestleMania, David. WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, we want to thank all of you who purchased your tickets for the sweet and sexy ticket package. We're sold out. You should see some of Again. the hot chicks that are going to be in that suite with us. Well, Frank has worked it out very nicely for us. Oh, he gets the credit for this? Well, he's the one that booked the talent. Oh, that talent. That yeah. talent. Yeah, that's a thanks, pal, talent. 
Uh, thank you very much for that. And we're going to offer that again for WrestleMania 28 in Miami, Florida. We'll be doing so sooner than later. I'm telling you, Miami is going to be ridiculous. You may as well just take a picture of me when we get there. Because I don't think you'll see me again until WrestleMania. Promise? What are you going to do without me? Right. Exactly. Words can't describe. No, words can't describe what I can do without you at WrestleMania. Speaking of WrestleMania, we're going to have a full week of coverage from ATL, from the Atlanta, uh, covering WrestleMania again, as only the Pro Wrestling Report can. And all of you who are part of the Sweet and Sexy Package are going to be appearing on our WrestleMania review edition of the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Oh, we're going to let them on the air with us? Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. This could go bad. That'll be fun. A lot. How about the PWR show party? Well, we're going to be announcing the details of that via our website in the next few days. Saturday before the Hall of Fame ceremony, we're going to be having a be awesome. gathering, a get-together for... I'll be uh, uh, definitely tweeting all that hot news out, too. Now, when we're doing the world's oh. number one and most watched professional wrestling news program? I'm just making sure. Um, so we'll have details on that coming up in the next few days. But, David, a lot of other things noteworthy happened in wrestling this week, specifically on Raw. We saw the third installment of the... I guess you can call it now, the Undertaker video. Shawn it was Michaels. not Shawn Michaels. He's in the you, Let me Let's set this up, okay? Yeah, he set it up. Let me be host of the year here. They showed the third of this in the series of those cryptic uh, videos with the ending of 2.21.11. This time, we clearly, clearly saw the Undertaker or a likeness of the Undertaker in the video package. Now, that one is under the impression that the image, while may have been the Undertaker in body, was not him in face. Mm -hmm. You think it was who? Shawn Michaels. And this is how? There's two guys in the house. One is Shawn Michaels. No, that's just tricky editing. Smoke and mirrors. Oh! <laughs> it's only smoke and mirrors. Yeah. Shawn Michaels. Why are you that? seeing what you want to see, not what is in front of you? Because I like my vision better. The image, it's on .com. It's on the website. Mm -hmm. It's on pwrshow.com. We asked via Facebook and Twitter if people thought it was HBK. What would they say? No, 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 no. They don't, no, they don't no. ask them. It is Shawn Michaels. Why would it be Shawn Michaels? Because he is going to initiate... The Triple H uh, Undertaker match at WrestleMania. They left on cordial terms. They shook hands. But Triple H. Uh, Shawn Michaels asked him to, to retire, do it. Uh, career versus streak. But who's going to retire? Triple H. Uh, Would that be hot? Triple H is not going to retire at WrestleMania. Why not? Okay, Triple H is not going to actually retire at WrestleMania. Even if he retires at WrestleMania, he's not going to retire at WrestleMania. Because if he retires at WrestleMania, he, he won't wrestle again. He has three little kids at home now. You talked about Ric Flair and Terry Funk earlier. Completely they different. Retired, they retired, they retired, they retired. Completely. They didn't marry the boss's daughter. They're not the heiress to the throne. They don't have the golden Randy keys. Randy Savage retired when he retired. He had to. He couldn't go back to Vince. And why would he want to end up in TNA's last match? My point is, fine, he may retire at WrestleMania, I don't buy it, uh -huh. but he's not retiring at WrestleMania. He will retire from active wrestling at WrestleMania. For a little while. For a lot of while. He I doesn't disagree. need the money. I, I think your, your logic is, 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 is a bit flawed in this regard okay. because okay. Shawn Michaels is not... Coming back. Even two. But he, Triple he can H be a referee. Referee Triple H uh, and Undertaker. The rumor is. And then he has to make the pinfall on his best friend. What is this? SummerSlam 97? It's completely different. What about Wade Barrett? Wade will probably be in a match, a tag match against Big Show and some other big guy. Big Sexy? Big Daddy Cool? Some other big guy. Hashmark lips are sealed. What part don't you get about that? What about Sting? 
Well, if they don't get it, I don't know if things are going to come in. They don't need them right now. It wouldn't hurt. They, seriously? It, does this chance exist next year for Sting? Maybe. We talked many times about how this is the right time, this is the right moment, this is well, the right place. Well, it's Atlanta, place. absolutely. I don't think Atlanta... People keep saying it's Atlanta, it's Atlanta, it's Atlanta. How many wrestling fans associate WCW with Atlanta? A lot. I don't think so. A lot. I really don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. Okay, what do you associate WCW with, then? Panama Beach? But who associates Cleveland? a wrestling company with a city? I do. Vinny oh, smart. New York. I think of New York when I think World Wrestling Entertainment. Oh, I don't think so. But anyways, what I mean is Sting's clearly getting towards the end of his in-ring career. He's pushing, he's over 50. I think he's bound for the WWE Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And I think that they need something special to do with The Undertaker. I don't think that's a match with Triple H. I think Sting versus Taker should at least still if be on the Taker table. If Taker can retire it is. Triple H... Retire Shawn Michaels and Triple H, back to back. I see the value in that. I see you. I understand. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. Nor am I hanging on to this thing thing, by the way. I still say it makes sense. I would love to see it happen. Chris Jericho did an interview Sting recently. Sting has now been overshadowed by The Rock. For now. Oh, my God. Forever. Who means more? Chris Jericho did an interview recently. Maybe he was leading towards what he might do, but said that Vince McMahon is not done. There will be more. He expects to see two or three more big names announced to be a part of WrestleMania. Triple H, okay, give you that if that's one of them. Okay. Who else? Undertaker? He's already, they, they showed him. Ain't no grave, can hold my buddy down. Maybe Jericho? Could be. I don't know. Bieber? Oh, come on. Maybe he's really? seen the America the Really? Beautiful. Okay, you gotta admit, it's brilliance on WWE's part to have Justin Bieber be a part of WrestleMania. Never mind the 60,000 people who are going to boo him out of the building. TMZ, Extra, E. All those shows are going to cover it. Is that why we're going to WrestleMania so you can watch Justin Bieber? If you, you do not. You do not. That's it. I'm leaving. No. Promise? No, I'm, I, I am. I am. I am. That's all it took was a little baby, baby, baby. Did you want something to drink? I would love some drink. Diet Coke. Or yeah. Can you get me uh, water and a Diet Coke, please? Thank you. Absolutely. Carrying on. Oh, you're not leaving now? I'm carrying on. I'm a professional. Okay. Why are you so hateful? I'm not hateful. What has happened to you? Nothing's happened to me. I'm ecstatic. The Do you own any of those pink pearl erasers? You just erase the hate? For a little while, maybe for the hour hey, or so each week. I still got to do be the booker with you. In I days. am the pencil for GLCW, so of course I have an eraser. Well, I think the eraser on that pencil might be white, because those don't erase anything, really. Wow. You understand now what I'm saying? Those thing? of you out there who have the cheaper pencils it's with the white erasers, thing. they don't. all they do is shred the paper. Pink pearl. They know about that in the UK, like the black it's and reds. All pink and what I use each week. What's the difference? I got this when I was in the UK last time. This is big over there, the black and reds. Can not really get these here. I'm not very pleased to put there without me. It's like a tray. It doubles. It's a notebook and a tray. Yeah. See. So when I get served and pre-tape, well, in the green room, absolutely. It brings tape? me on this, and the interns oh, wait, are taking you've all been the notes served and pre-taped. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologize for David's lack of focus here on the Pro Wrestling Report. Yeah, I didn't time. get my meds today. Clearly. But the Miz versus Brian Danielson, an excellent matchup on Raw this past Monday night, David Hero. You admitted it before when he had a match with Morrison and it was tremendous. Maybe you can admit it now and that was a good it. match. I didn't see it. I swear to God, I didn't see it. You know I didn't see it. <laughs> get the cause, cause, cause. Can you come in here for a minute? No, cause, come on in here, cause. Come get on. the cause. Can you come in here for a minute, cause, please, from the social media center? You're being replaced temporarily. Cause, come on, right here. If I had my 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 my, my throne here, no, no, you're staying here. I'm staying because I want the cause to to show you and tell you how great the Ms. Frank Cosentino. Come on, come on, come on over here. Just slide on in for a minute. Good to see you there, buddy. Let's get that outfit. I don't think that's quite how you asked earlier <laughs> no. where that came from. They can't even see. I Where's your face? I, okay, here. Why don't you get in here? 
The Miz versus Brian Danielson this past Monday night. The Miz versus Brian Danielson this past Monday night on WWE yeah. Raw. You saw the match. I did. This one's acting like he didn't. Your thoughts on the WWE this. champion versus the United States champion on Raw Monday It was night. solid. Both men delivered it. It was a great match, and Miz came out on top. It can't. That's just the facts. How did he beat him? Was it a clean pin? No, no, no. With his finisher? Yes. yes. The Skull Crushing finale. So, the 3,700 times DVD beat him, he finally got a, a, a victory back. I didn't hear that. Thank you, guys. It was good Probably. seeing you. You can go on back over to the social media center. Or why don't you head on over to Coyote Ugly and get our seats uh, somewhere near where check. we can see Linda. Jameson, check. Did you say something about your contract being up soon? <laughs> I think it is. I thought it was. Ladies and gentlemen, the following comes to you on behalf of spoilers. Spoilers for WWE SmackDown tomorrow night. Okay, David, a spoiler means... You're going to find out ahead of time what happens. Before it airs. Yeah. This is a spoiler. Mute. Fast forward 30 seconds. Dolph Ziggler crowned the new champion this past Monday night on Raw. Teddy Long returns on SmackDown tomorrow night. Strips Ziggler of the title and fires him. Now... This makes your Be the Booker a little more it's challenging. Gonna be, yeah. That's going to air on Saturday. This will be, find out before will be the Booker. For that particular matchup? Absolutely. Well, last time you DHHS, uh, a little, little fly got in your soup there. It's the first time I've missed a DHHS. No second. Remember you got bold and did two DHHSs yeah. on a pay-per-view? The second one didn't count. The contract says want to show. I did two. It's voided out. Dolph Ziggler fired from SmackDown. He'll be on Raw. Good or bad? It's great for him. Hurts Raw, or it hurts SmackDown a little bit. We went to Raw last Monday night in Milwaukee. Spoilers are over. Spoilers are over, guys. We went to Raw last Monday night in Milwaukee. We went to SmackDown last Tuesday night in Green Bay. And those shows were tremendous. However. Those were tremendous. However. At several points, that silence was deliberate because that's what it sounded like in the arena in Green Bay yeah. during most of the night. Aside from Vicky Guerrero, Edge, and uh, the Del Green Rio. Bay Packers, and Del Rio, but he opened the show, so he had the pyro spike and all that stuff, too. I'm not discounting it. Of course you're not. Nobody got a reaction. And I'm not faulting any of the performers, any of the wrestlers. Green Bay may have been a bit deflated because it was right after the... A rally at Lambeau Field as well, but David, it was very surreal to be a part of that experience, and literally, I think you heard something about a mouse and a ball of yarn. Yes, I mean, you could literally hear a mouse pissing on a ball of cotton in the corner. Is that like when Minnie me Vern Troyer peed in the corner on the Surreal Life? I don't know. China? I never listened to him pee in, on China. It was on national television. I don't think he peed in China, and if so, I don't think anybody knows about that yet. China, the country, of course. Your perspective on the live event. Now, I was a little distracted <laughs> during Raw, obviously, because I had that incident. But your thoughts on being at Raw and SmackDown Live last week. David, here, I'm sorry, uh, the Kaz, who since left us, sitting with the Otunga family somehow or another. How does he always get this kind of stuff worked out? I, right? He's playing with Otunga's kid for half a Raw. Well, yeah, and I, I ain't crapping you, folks. No. But the best part was the kid sitting in front of us. You're making fun of, was it no, no, Cena? No, no. This is from our attorney. If you could read that, it indicates that that situation oh, cannot be discussed really? until it's resolved in <laughs> a few weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Dummy. He was, wasn't he? I told you. Don't trip him. They don't know. Stop. We can't have this, 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 this behind the scenes talk. Mm -hmm. The cameras are rolling. We're, we're, we're live here. Yeah, I see this. Raw, your thoughts. Thought Biggest surprise of the night. What really struck you being at a live event? Last live event where there was televised was SmackDown in Milwaukee a couple months back. What struck you as, as most surprising about Raw and the reactions that some people did or didn't get or the atmosphere that was or wasn't there this past or last Monday night? Vicky got a great reaction, like she always does. Um, when you say great reaction, I think it's important to allude or to it's speak deafening. more about that. It's definitely. It is. I've never heard anything like it. Yeah. Uh, you say it's like a certain other heat, but it's I, X Pac heat. I, I, dude, I, it goes so much further. She can't 
You can't hear her. That's a good thing. It's definite. Yeah. And and who would have thought? Both shows, crowd reaction was very light. Really? Yeah. For Raw as well. well if it wasn't for Vicky, yeah. I mean, well, keep in mind on Raw. See, I got an amazing That's reaction. See, I got them. an amazing reaction. Are you let me speak? My goodness. That's the thing. On Raw, you got Punk, you got Cena, and you got Orton. Three top stars. Who was that last one? Orton. Randy oh, Orton. Randy Orton. He is still in WWE, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. I tend to forget because he became so irrelevant. SmackDown doesn't have those big stars. And don't forget, Raw also taps the bigger SmackDown stars. Del Rio, Edge, Big Show. Ziggler, Vicky. Right, yeah. I mentioned them earlier. All right. An eventful week in professional wrestling, of course. And uh, How cold was it in Green Bay, though? My God, was that ridiculous. Right? <laughs> it was cold. It was stupid. It, w it, w it was cold. Listen, listen, it was so cold we got there, what, 40 minutes late? Mm hmm the parking guys were nowhere to be found. They didn't care anymore. It was negative seven, plus a negative 20 wind chill. It was cold. It's very cold. There were several indicators as to how cold it was as well. So those in, those indicators, my goodness. You've exhausted me. Oh, this is my fault now, again. I'm just saying, you've exhausted me. It's good discussion at times with you, but you've exhausted me. This is a special Thursday edition of Pro Wrestling Report. Yes. So Saturday, we're going to talk about WWE's Elimination Chamber. We're on the road to WrestleMania. And David Hero, a week ago, or last time we were in this TV studio, two weeks ago, we talked about how WrestleMania didn't have a hook. We it talked was. about how WrestleMania didn't have a draw. We talked about what are they going to do. Right here, right now, there is no question. What they needed to do The Rock is, is not going to sell 70,000 tickets. The Rock sold a lot of tickets right away on Monday night. Georgia Dome was making some information, or putting some information out there about tickets going faster. Now, it could have been spent, could have been marketing WWE, but obviously capitalizing on it. We had some tickets, I had extra tickets for WrestleMania. We had them available. And I, and I forgot to tell you this. Monday night, after I got on the phone with you, after the radio show, those tickets sold. They've been sitting there for a month. I think people decided, hey, I better get in there. It moved some tickets. It moved some seats. It put some tails in some seats. I agree with that. Absolutely. It's The Rock. But they don't have much further to go to... Everything changes Monday. Upcoming? This coming Monday, it all changes. How so? Because now they got to start laying the groundwork for the matches. Well, 221.11, that was also this Monday. Right. So we're going to see... HBK, Shawn, in your Shawn opinion, Michaels. Undertaker. Well, you'll see both, Shawn Michaels and HBK. Why not? you got to believe once in a while, Damian. Nelson. I have no faith. You've changed. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you again on sun Saturday, rather, for being a big weekend. We do too much show. We do way too much. Uh, Saturday for a special Elimination Chamber edition of Be the Booker. Maybe Frank can do that with you. Just yeah, whatever you want. Uh, and then on Sunday, we're going to be uh, with the post show, uh, WWE Elimination Chamber. WrestleMania takes shape on Sunday because. I know who can do the post show with you. Who did? Uh, we'll talk about it you know, later on. WrestleMania takes shape after this Sunday's Elimination Chamber on pay per view. We find out who is going to be the world champion over on the SmackDown side of things, and we find out who will challenge the current WWE champion at WrestleMania, The Miz. All that coming out of you, the Elimination Chamber. So you don't think Jerry Lawler is going to win? Who knows? I mean, his mom just died. It could give him the strength to... Let me get this straight. You believe that there is a chance that Jerry Lawler will be in a World Wrestling Entertainment Championship match at WrestleMania 27 in Atlanta, Georgia? I'm not saying at WrestleMania. Quick switcheroo, a la Kane and, Kane and Austin. Austin in 98. I have no problem with that. That would be fun. I don't think they need to do it. I don't think it makes much sense. But I see the excitement that could be generated by it. Does Jerry not deserve it? They, don't get me wrong. Jerry certainly deserves that WrestleMania match. Jerry certainly deserves to be champion 
in an organization other than AWA or USWA. Why? AWA was, was one of the top well, I, federations. Yeah, but never on a national televised scale. That's what I mean by that. And it's what Jerry wants. It was Roddy Piper. True. Or was he WCW champion? No. He wasn't there either? He was never a world champion. Or a WWE champion. We'll see you Saturday. <laughs> we'll see you Saturday for Be the Booker and then Sunday for the Elimination Chamber post show for the Kai's and Linda Kay and David Hero. This is David Nelson saying thank you very much for tuning in to PWR Primetime TV. All hail King Damien! All hail King Damien! All hail King Damien! All hail King Damien! All hail King Damien!